Last week I introduced you to the CCleaner utility that cleans up all your temporary files on your computer and helps you keep your computer running a little bit quicker. But it was a beginner's edition. This week is a little more advanced and my first proviso is that if you use this and you have problems, I'm warning you now that if you do not have good computer skills and are confident in what you are doing, please stop the video now and move on to something else. If you want to try any of these techniques, you are doing so at your own risk because some of the functions within CCleaner can render your computer useless if you're not using them correctly and know exactly what you're doing. So with that being said, we're going to go through and look at some more advanced features of the CCleaner program. First off, starting from the easiest and going to hardest, you can choose to uncheck some of the boxes that it automatically cleans before you run the run cleaner. For example, if you don't want your cookies deleted, you can uncheck that. If you don't want your most recently used documents deleted, you can undo that as well. So that's a quick little thing you can do there. Now you know my stance on registry cleaners. I am not a registry cleaner fan precisely because too many people get involved with them and then cause worse problems with their computers than they were trying to fix to begin with. But with the CCleaner registry cleanup utility, I've actually had pretty good luck and I've had only had once or twice where I've had to restore the registry back to its original format. But if you want to give it a try, again, you do so at your own risk. You can just click scan for issues, let it look for all of these different things. Once the scan finishes, you can click Fix the Selected Issues. It will give you the opportunity to back up your registry. I recommend that if you do this, you do so. So it will just ask you where to save the registry backup. You can rename it if you'd like. And then it gives you the opportunity to fix the issues that it found. Mine had 213. If you click Fix All Selected Issues, it will go ahead and delete all of the registry problems that it found. Moving down to the third tool here on the left hand side and also called tools, you can use CCleaner to help you uninstall programs without going to the add and remove programs. The third tool here can help you uninstall programs that are on your computer. If you don't want a particular program, you can click it and run the uninstaller directly from CCleaner. If you have some entries in your add or remove programs that are no longer on your computer but for some reason they've stayed there, you can click on it and delete the entry from that list as well using this tool. So that works pretty well. In the Startup tab, it's going to give you a list of all the programs that are starting automatically. And if you want to disable some of those things from starting automatically, you can do so here by clicking on the item and then clicking Disable or Delete it altogether from the list. This is the same as going into your MS Config in Windows. And the last little button here under the Tools section of CCleaner you can click System Restore and, and it will show you how many different System Restore points there are on your computer. And if you want to clean up some of those System Restore points and get rid of some older ones, you can click on the one you want to get rid of and then click Remove. And lastly, if you click the options, you can set the options of the program. I can click under here under Settings, change my language. I can run the program automatically when the computer starts. I can even have it do a wipe of your files, which means it's going to delete the files multiple times, which makes them virtually impossible to recover. And you can do it as high as 35 passes if you would like to do that. Under the cookie section, you can look through the list. And if you have, for example, I'm a Gmail user, I can go to Google and I can tell it to always keep my Google cookies so I don't have to re-log in after I run the CCleaner. So if you want to take the time to look through the list, you can certainly do that and then add it to the list of cookies that you don't want it to touch. In the include box here, I have a folder on my desktop called web editing. If I add that to this list, then it will empty everything in that folder each time I run the CCleaner. So if you have a folder that doesn't need to have the files in it and you are positive, you can actually add it to this include list and it will keep that folder clean for you. Under the exclude folder, you can actually add any folder likewise like the include where you don't even want it to look at that folder. So any temp files in that folder, any files that are important won't even be looked at by the CCleaner program. And lastly, under the advanced section, you can set a few program settings to make the CCleaner function the way you want it to function. If you enjoy using CCleaner, like most shareware, if you enjoy it and you use it often, please donate to the developer. 
That allows them to keep moving on with their projects and update the utilities that we enjoy and use every day.